Aloha, welcome to day number 40. All right, now I forgot to mention this in yesterday's video, uh, but for yesterday's video and the videos moving forward, including today's, I do want to give credit to Answers in Genesis. And I want to uh, give a shout out to them. I'm not being sponsored by them or anything like that, but they did a lot of the research that has helped me develop these messages that I'm doing right now. And so if you ever get a chance, they do have a website. I don't know if they have their own YouTube channel, but I'm sure they've got some videos out there, Answers in Genesis. And so go check them out. They've got, they, I, I'm just scratching the surface on dinosaurs and what the Bible says. They do very extensive research into them. And so if you have a love for dinosaurs like I do and I did as a kid, let me encourage you, please go check out Answers in Genesis online. And they also have some great books that you can check out. Again, not sponsored by them. But anyway, let's jump into it. We're gonna open in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you now. Just thank you so much for who you are. Please continue to protect us, to watch over us. We thank you for being our Heavenly Father, our, our Savior. And uh, just pray that their hearts are tender out there today. We all grow in our relationship with you. And uh, also pray that you remove the devil and his distractions and that you get all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Switching up the hats again. Back into dinosaur mode. All right. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's message. Jumping into it now. Day number 40. Turn with me again back to the book of Genesis chapter number 3. Yesterday we talked about creation and dinosaurs uh, were not created in God's own image. We were. Okay. God loves us that much more. These are majestic and beautiful beings, but you are way more special. All right. Genesis chapter number three. Let's look at verse number six. It says, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and did eat. Oh, this is when sin enters. If you remember yesterday, you say, oh, why didn't the dinosaurs just eat Adam and Eve and uh, vice versa? It's because everything that was created got to eat fruits and plants and vegetables and all these different things you didn't need to eat animals, okay? So, but God had told Adam and Eve that they could eat of everything in the garden except for one tree. And if you want to go into more detail about that, let me encourage you to read Genesis chapter 2 and chapter 3 on your own. We're not going to touch too much into it, but just briefly go over, this is when sin entered the world. Adam and Eve made a decision. They disobeyed God. This was the very first one, and this is where Romans 6.23 comes in. You don't have to turn there. I'm just going to quote it. If you want to turn there, you can, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Main part uh, is in a relation to this is for the wages of sin is death. Now that Adam and Eve have committed sin, meat eating, yes, begins. Dinosaurs can now die. Man can is now going to uh, have a, a time limit on their life. Okay, I think Adam lived to be like 969 years old, but he's not at that point yet. But again, he had a time stamp on him, and we all do. And uh, But thankfully, Jesus Christ died on the cross for you and for me. But let's continue on. Uh, meat eating has entered. Uh, now, again, we do know dinosaurs exist. How do we know they exist? Because we have fossils, right? However, uh, the world wants you to believe that fossils are around because a big old asteroid hit. And yet they have no proof of that. They have no pictures, they have no video, they have no books written that said a giant asteroid hit and wiped out the dinosaurs, but we do have a book that proves something else happened. It's called the B-I-B-L-E. You have it right there in front of you. Let's look at what happens. We're going to skip now to Genesis chapter number 6. Genesis chapter number 6, let's look at verse number 7. It says there, And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, look at this beast, okay, and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. 
Verse number eight, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Notice what God says in verse number seven, I will destroy man. Man has now been committing sin after sin after sin after sin. He has turned his face uh, away from God. However many uh, people were around, God said, it's time to clean house. We're gonna start over. Who are we gonna start over with? We're gonna start over with Noah. Noah was the only one that found grace in the eyes of the Lord. So now let's get with me to verse number 19. Verse number 19 says, And of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort, shalt thou bring into the ark to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female. This is talking about uh, loading up the ark. Noah's got to build an ark. There's a flood coming. So the question is, were dinosaurs on the ark? Now, we know dinosaurs. We find fossils. We know dinosaurs existed, and God made a very specific command that two of every beast, every animal, shall be on the ark. So animals, uh, dinosaurs, weren't they animals? Weren't they beasts? Yes. So that means two of every dinosaur was on the ark. All right, every animal, that includes the dinosaur. Now, here's the other thing. People often get this wrong. They draw, there's cartoon pictures of Noah's Ark and you see animals at their full size. And a lot of people discredit Noah's Ark and the flood because they say there's no way that Noah could have fed the, all these animals. It's too much meat, it's too much food. Well, here's the thing, they keep saying that there were adult animals, but the Bible doesn't say that. God's command was not that two of every adult animal, male and female, be on the ark. Couldn't they have just been this, I mean, maybe not this size, but babes or cubs, small, tiny animals? Now, Noah's ark was huge. It was massive, and I'll, I'll have some pictures. There's probably a picture here, uh, but I mean, it was, uh, a monstrosity of a project. It took him years and years and years to build this ark. And so he had the space for dinosaurs, for lions, for everything that was there. All right. So we do know that there were dinosaurs on the ark. Now, here's the thing. Even if they were adult dinosaurs, even if they were adult animals, God provides. Continue to read in God's word. He shows you He's going to provide for Noah and his family, and he's going to provide the food for the animals. Because you got to remember, at the same time that Noah built the ark, he is storing food, okay? It's, I mean, I don't know what kind of food, but he is storing it away for it to be put there. All right, look at verses 21 and 22. It says, And take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, and, the, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee. Uh, that's what I was just talking about. Food for thee and for them. Verse 22, thus did Noah according to all that God commanded him, so did he. So Noah obeyed. Noah said, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get all the animals. I'm going to store away the food. Let's do it. All right, so now the flood is, is going to happen. The flood wipes out most of the dinosaurs, but really what did wipe out the dinosaurs? It's sin, all right? Because if you remember before Adam and Eve sinned, dinosaurs could roam freely, all these animals could roam freely, including us, man, women, we could roam freely. But as soon as Adam and Eve sinned, that's truly what wiped out the dinosaur. Guys, we gotta make sure that we're not sinning against God because it does, a lot of people think, oh, it's my body, my choice, my mind, my choice. I can do what I want to. It only affects me. No, your sin affects a lot more people. And think about God uh, wiping out everyone because of their sin. It wasn't just an individual thing. He didn't say, okay, you sin, I'm going to wipe you out. You sin, it's your fault. No, it was a collective thing. But verse number eight said, Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. If God were to look into the town that you live in and decide to wipe it out, would you find grace in the eyes of the Lord? Have you been living faithfully? Noah had been living faithfully. He had been living obediently and did exactly as God commanded. Are you living that life? Or would you be the reason that dinosaurs don't exist? 
Well, I hope that you are obeying God's word. And remember, we have dominion. All right. So you say, well, what does that have to do with anything? Uh, might be asking how did dinosaur, how did the rest of the dinosaurs go extinct? Well, we needed something to snack on. All right. Instead of uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, it was probably Kentucky Fried Dinosaur. All right. You got to remember, a lot of people, you know, the dinosaurs, we probably hunted them once. Uh, Noah's flood was over and, and the ark had been stuck and, and remember Noah was commanded to be fruitful and multiply and more people start popping up all over the world. They need food. We had become meat eaters. We would hunt all kinds of animals and we probably hunted the dinosaur too until the point of extinction. All right, We didn't have any people, anybody protesting uh, whether we could eat certain animals or whether they would go extinct. But more than likely that is what happened so i do wonder what a dinosaur tastes like it probably tastes like chicken all right so let's do some questions here but i do want you to remember verse number eight noah found grace in the eyes of the lord you need to be living that life to find grace in the eyes of god number one how old was noah when the flood happened you can find that in genesis chapter number seven genesis chapter number seven how old was noah when the flood happened number two how long was the rain upon the earth? Number three, what are Noah's son's names? Again, you have to read through Genesis chapter 7 to find these answers. All right, remember to be obedient. Remember to serve the Lord. Stay faithful. And I'll see you tomorrow for our third video on Jurassic Truth. Aloha.